Hi Divine Ripples and Divine Ripple Young Bloods. Hello to everyone coming through to the channel for the first time. Today we are going to do a video that is entirely crystal casting. We have done one of these before and if you look on the channel playlist, we um, actually I'm putting up a whole bunch of playlists for like there's going to go from being none to being like 30 different playlists um, and it's going to take me a while to fill them up because we have a lot of videos on the channel but as I think of like oh yeah that's a topic I've done um, I'll have it you know playlists for different divinations for different topics things of that nature um, so then you can just click one and get in that mode so we'll be doing a lot more crystal casting and crystal readings um, this entire reading will be crystal casting and it's going to be messages from the ancestors sisters about your love connection and love relationship so a way that I particularly read that people including other youtubers have come to me for um, ancestor readings other um, tarot readers and spiritual practitioners is that I, it's always good to check in with your ancestors and with their ancestors about the connection and see sometimes there's resistance from their ancestors sometimes there's resistance from yours there can be inside messages so those are all things that i'm open to and people who have come to me for those readings will know that that's a way that i read in a way that ancestors connect and will give me messages so we're going to go ahead and um, be open to all of those stylings and messages, it, which is what I do when I open up to love readings from the ancestors and see what messages come through and channel through. We're going to be using the divination touchstone um, is what I call them of crystals. So, you know, of course, we can channel in like um, mediumship or psychic channeling but I really love divination and it helps kind of temper the gift it also helps when I am reading for other people and especially for a large group of people to release that energy versus just kind of channeling it straight through the head okay that fire in the head energy so for young um, mystics and psychics which I often train in a variety of ways one of the first things that I'll do is have them get a divination uh, touchstone so that they can read messages but it's a little bit um, less intense than just taking it in the face basically <laughs> So yeah, these are just things coming to me to share with you as we go. So I'm going to go ahead and get into my style of reading. If you would like to uh, have a reading with me, you can go ahead and connect with me at oceanheartconjure at gmail.com. Eventually, once I um, get to it, I will put a new website up. But those of you who've been rocking with me for a long time know that this is um, one of the many ways that I've been reading for a long time. And there's so, so so, so many <laughs> different divination styles and um, magical workings and spiritual connections and classes and things that I um, teach. And when I was gone from the channel for a year, that's what I was doing is r actual real spirit work. Okay, y'all? Along with so social justice work as well. So, um, yeah, just a little behind the scenes. I guess I don't really talk about all that because I'm always just like, oh, people should know. But actually, no, there's a whole new audience here on YouTube. Um, than the people who know me on the ground or everyone who's known me for years so that's what it is also sending a reminder to those of you who do come get deep magical healings and ancestor connections from me um make sure that we're not doing that just to go and make pick, pick a card topics and advertise that you do certain spiritual work and workings that you do not do but that you just got excited about seeing me do them for the first time for you and the same with other practitioners okay it is okay to go and earn our stripes and things and sometimes we do have a, a gift blossom as soon as we have recognition of it but um you know don't go market yourself on what other people do it's just it's not a good look and my ancestors will let me know when they're not happy with it right so it's good to check in with ancestors because you know they do know what's uh best for us the good ancestors who is uh the healed ones right who come with wisdom which is who i am channeling in here 
for all of us so what we do is we ask the ancestors who have a similar message and vibe to connect together um for your guys's relationship <laughs> group so it's going to be kind of two groups of ancestors for each reading coming together who have similar type messages for you guys when we do collective readings and um that's how we'll get a good pull so take time to sit with your energy and connect you'll know your ancestor feel for a lot of you some of you you may not um, have that yet and don't worry you can develop that connection and when we say good ancestors and ones that are healed we're talking about ones who are ready and able to be in a position to give us um, advice for our highest best sometimes ancestors can stay you know in their hurt vibrations and um, you know there's spirits on their own path just like we are and so those ones we are not calling into this space and reading and it can be good to differentiate especially if you're not yet connected to their energy and haven't really discovered your histories and things okay so a lot of informative information but a big part of who I am is actually a teacher a mystical teacher of all sorts and I teach a lot of classes and courses so I guess I'm just sharing a bit more with you guys and I'm feeling led to by my ancestors on this reading so um, go ahead and connect with your ancestor crew and um, you know as they lead you the connection that you will need to the the other party if there's another party <laughs> um, in your situation in your relationship and we'll go ahead and get oh they just said uh, there could be three parties for some of you so you might have a whole lot of ancestors coming through on some of these because they got opinions too okay um, all right let's get prepared for that so go ahead and pick your option um, whichever you are drawn to here from the visuals we have one two three four five and six and we're gonna get into this reading y'all because at least some of them are gonna be juicy okay we have our bag of crystals here for casting and we're gonna go ahead and jump into it all right I'll see you on your timestamp all right for those of you that chose number one we're gonna go ahead and tune into the ancestor messages <sighs> first we're gonna get some general messages from your ancestors see what they're saying about relationship and then for those who are involved with someone we'll throw out another fistful of crystals from the other party side and see what we need to know okay all right and you might have to pick different options if you have different people as we're only gonna do one group except for the group that they said will have a third party <laughs> that they will channel in okay so for number one I'm just letting them have a feel here romantic messages and information that you have to tell your descendants okay they did okay hey look at you they said oh no my descent is gonna get some okay steamy steamy now all right you guys got the hematite crystals magnetic hematite okay you got the a tangerine aura quartz okay a little rainbow juicy sacral chakra action you got cinnabar okay we have a honey calcite over here split like a grape we have aquamarine rainbow moonstone peach moonstone and smoky quartz all right we'll get to the card in a minute um maybe at the end we'll flip that over and read it okay so you guys got a lot going on you feeling the fever you're feeling the fire the other person is definitely feeling it too and your ancestors are like what are you worried about okay the if anyone who's worried about their sensual attractive quality ability it ain't a thing they're just like you came from us you look good okay what you worried about now some of you um it's so so strange but i did get a message of somebody who quit smoking and maybe you're worried about your teeth and just that habit and um, some of you have picked up a bad habit or maybe just ran yourself too hard maybe you went through a party phase or went through a, a not taking care of yourself phase and it's kind of hanging over you and you're worried about bouncing back and if you're gonna um, look the same maybe you're like well my hair is different now my eyelashes my you know my skin whatever it is and your ancestors are saying that that ain't 
that ain't but a thing okay i do see skin clearing up they're talking about um they're talking about cosmetic beauty they're talking about um look you might not have been using it but you didn't lose it okay <laughs> all right your your sexual game is going to be fine it's going to be on point don't worry about that they are not worried about that okay they said mm -mm, sugar sugar now okay they said that's gonna be fine you ain't got nothing to worry about they said what you need to worry about is who you're sucking in and attracting with that energy that's what they want to talk about because they said you can use about half as much honey as you putting out there okay um you might be giving too much of yourself you might be overly using your sacral chakra energy pushing it at people and sometimes we're like well i'm not using it to anyone but that can make us overly use it in a way like because it's, we're just hoarding it right we're just building it up building it up building it up so energy doesn't really pay attention sometimes to whether we think we're extroverting it or not it's about if the energy is accumulating or not okay so they're saying you can very easily go overboard with your sacral chakra energies whether it can turn into you know addiction it can turn into obsession it can turn into um good things like glow ups and feeling good about ourselves being really active picking up a new skill okay pole dancing belly dancing something um but it can also start drawing in all these flies to your honey basically or it can cause um if we're in denial of it or still haven't learned to regulate it we can start just like smearing that sacral energy on everybody just trying to imprint our sexual energy on anybody everything that walks down the street ruin other close connections and relationships because we're trying to get with this boss that friend um you know this person our cousins boo like <laughs> it's just too much okay so one thing they want to work on with you is regulating that energy in a good way they have no problem with you being big sexy okay they ain't got a problem with that i think they're just like it runs in the family um but what they do want to work on is the emotionality that is connect with connected with that with you feeling comfortable in your own skin some of you are very sensitive about your skin and it could even have been um through bigoted things maybe you are um the tone of your skin maybe bullying for have having had um acne or eczema um maybe because of your race any of those kind of things some of you are still carrying some inher inherent shame with your skin and it's affecting your romantic relationship and your sexual relationship and you might not think so it, you might be like no that's not a problem at all but you might be carrying yourself differently than you would if you had full acceptance of the skin that you're in okay some of you it could be scars burns stretch marks um different things but there's there's this hint of sadness and shame that's carried there um in connection with acceptance of the the skin you're in okay um now some of you are lgbtqia you're on the gender spectrum somewhere somewhere cosmically glorious because we have the rainbow moonstone here with this acceptance of who we are as well so some of you are learning to embrace that aspect of yourself we do have a lgbt plus um, ancestor message video you might want to check that out oh, check the ancestor playlist okay we got that up now um, so yes, yeah, some of you have concerns about that. Your ancestors are not worried about it. Okay. This reading honey says love is love and sexy time is sexy time. They are not worried about it. They're more worried about, or not even worried. They're, they're, um, educating on the regulation of your sacral chakra energy of safe connections within that and of emotional connection with that. Okay. I feel like a big message here is that everybody that you have romantic contact with or that you have sexual contact with you don't have to have romantic contact with okay they're not exclusively the same thing okay it's almost like some of you have your heart chakra shoved up in your sacral chakra okay but those aren't mutually exclusive chakras they're two separate things and so your ancestors want you to evaluate that a little bit more because this connection with whoever you're thinking about this is mostly sexual connection okay this is sensual instinctual this is desire and lust this is obsession but some of y'all might be trying to pull it like like it's just a straight soulmate woo 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 <laughs> zen master <laughs> avatar connection or something no look honey this is some lust this is lust and for some of you it is a friend 
it is a friend because peach moonstone connects with friendship a lot quite often um we have capricorn scorpio sagittarius pisces leo aries okay could be some gemini's or virgos as well cancers okay we have all like look like i told y'all y'all could be over here with everybody okay we also have um we do have a special connection up here with pisces and leo energy um there is for those of you who this person is your sweetheart you do have that connection of a deeper foundation it could be time to explore your sexual connection more and use it in an empowered way um and have more communication with these things some of you might try sexting or some other um like poetic er erotic poetry okay um i'm thinking of uh what is it sappho right wait is that yeah y'all know what i mean um so or erotic plays or something there could be something very creative and artsy and fun like i said very leo pisces relationship kind of vibes there i'm also seeing some scorpio energy in here so there could be a transformative um quality a healing kudalini quality that wants to come out in this connection and then again we have some sexting energy with these with these magnetic hematites down here okay the little geminian quality a little sagittarius energy with this tangerine quartz um so i do see playfulness and fun i see um changing roles playing different roles i see emotional um peace and uh, uh um, what is it open-heartedness that your ancestors are speaking of here and they do want to address anything that has been kind of the elephant in the room or the the tough memories um they want to bring you into connections where it just kind of naturally heals all of the things that have been uh maybe scary before or um just not good memories of sexual connections and um they they want to make sure that that there's space for that for a healthy fun sexual connection in this relationship but again they're like but then in order for that to happen you have to know where your emotional boundaries are you have to know where your sexual energy begins and where the other person begins and you, you just have to know boundaries and that's their biggest thing is that about not having the okay I'm also getting a message about sexual cleanliness and like um, protection and not being risque. Um, so it's not, again, it's, nothing is fear-based. There's no fear-based shaming that comes from your ancestors in this regard, but it's more about like, okay, be smart. <laughs> you know what I mean? Be smart. Have you been t getting your health care checks? Um, you know, do you use protection? Do you know enough about your partner's history that you know that they're being, being safe, um, or that they've been safe, that they've gone and got their checkups, that kind of thing. Um, that's important as well. So for a lot of you, um, there, there's a few of you, you know, in your gut that this is a toxic person. There's been abuse. If that's the case, your ancestors are like, you need to get over trying to get the D from this person or whatever letter it is. And you need to let it go. And you can become the toxic person if you are trying to pursue this, pretending that it's something else and it ain't. Okay. And that's a strong, hard message I'm getting. Like, don't meddle. It's not cute. It's not funny. You know, this person's toxic. No, we're not telling you to be with them. Period. Like, don't play with us don't try to twist the message all right now i literally swiped like okay next message came through is what i'm seeing for those of you who there is a very sweet and beautiful connection your ancestors are okay moving forward with this relationship and again this is pulling a lot towards that fire water energy which just has been so prevalent this year especially with the aquamarine pisces and with the honey calcite leo um moving forward to that energy could also be um water signs scorpio pisces and uh fire sign sag and aries that are positive if there is communication and open heart you know and playfulness and they're acknowledging you not all of this ignoring you ghosting and all that if there's open-hearted communication with this person your ancestors are okay with you moving forward at least to have that like friendly connection we're being amorous sexual connection they are okay with that okay and they're supporting that if this person ignores you or asks, acts dumb <laughs> look ass, ass is dumb 
<laughs> is what it was coming out to to say um your ancestors ain't got time for it mm -mm. Mm -mm. they're like no we're not gonna we ain't having you sitting around here waiting for whoever okay what do we say we ain't having people sitting around on on the porch if they can be respectful come in the house say hello <laughs> they can sit down to dinner all right they come around here poking around the bushes acting some kind of way disappearing on us when we open the door no we ain't got time for them all right so let's take a look and see what your card says when it comes to matters of the heart there is no right or wrong every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love so I really, um, again, I do get this feeling with your ancestors where they don't, they're not big guilt trippers. They're stern when it's like, okay, this is enough of abuse going on. Like they don't play with that. They don't play with that. Now, I'm not saying that they wouldn't like that. They would say no BDSM because I think some of you are into that. And this could be a safe connection um, for you to explore that. The ones that are not toxic. Okay. Because toxicity and exploring things in the bedroom are not the same thing. And that's the point like i feel like your ancestors are pretty open-minded like they just they're they're really open-minded and up uh, for your sexual experiences and all of that but they're like you do again you have to understand boundaries you have to understand where sometimes you have feelings and the other person doesn't and you can't just turn it into a toxic thing and make your life miserable and stop living life because you don't want to just accept okay this was part of the story right it doesn't have to be a right or wrong it's just part of the story but if you keep pushing it it can become toxic all right and that's where they get like okay that's enough um and that's kind of the lesson here like they don't really mind if you fall in love with someone if you want to go and have a sexy time with someone they're like one as long as that person's treating you right and two as long as you you're treating you right and not you know um deluding yourself to the point that again it's a toxic connection so anything um else within that they don't mind you being in love they don't mind you being emotional they don't mind you um exploring your sexuality no they're all for that they love it they love it i feel like your your ancestors whoever it is coming through for this connection with you they have that jovial fun live it up explore yourself live life very sagittarian energy i'm picking up for a lot of you um, that's the strongest energy like it there, there's some Aries yeah a few cancers because you know what cancers cancers are on a lot of the top list for like strippers and criminals and <laughs> cancers be living it up low-key they do so I feel that <laughs> there's some cancer ancestors here too some Leo Pisces we talked about some Gemini's okay little Scorpios so a few Aries so um depending on who who you are coming through so they they want to have a good time they want to have a good time shoot some of them might even you know be little vicarious livers like come on now <laughs> go out there and keep keep that family name wild <laughs> yeah so that there's they don't want you to feel guilted or ashamed but they do want you to knock it off if you're being toxic period point blank okay they ain't got time for that there's too much life to live for you to live okay so let's see for those of you who do have the other partner already here what are they saying ancestors from that side all right okay we have a lava stone face down we have the purple stone as i call it which is family and business we have fire agate and we have a lava stone their ancestors are more temperamental okay their ancestors are more temperamental and a bit more clannish where they kind of keep things within the family and where they everything's at the family's business okay that's that's how they roll um they do have a big presence okay because some ancestors they they kind of stand back they won't really step in too much they'll be like okay whatever you're messing with my descendant i'm sure they can handle it that's fine and some they'll come and push their agenda right so if they don't like you and you don't match the agenda they have for the descendant they're going to push back these ancestors have that vibe because they're it's reminding me of like um like mulan or something like when there was like a, a certain way the family was supposed to be and you have to like protect that reputation and like the ancestors were getting involved right 
that's the feeling right here it's like boom it's like this cock blocking because behind that they can be like yeah we get it passionate sensual attractive yeah we are you know that kind of run, runs in their family too they can be hot-headed a little bit wild but they have that feeling where it's like family first clan first and if their fiery passions tend to get out and pull you in and all that they're not necessarily going to hold their descendant to the the reckless situation they cause okay they're not they're not really going to they're going to be more like oh well that was a side effect of you getting caught up in our glamour but we're about family and business and we got a plan and no we're not going to just disown or punish our descendant because you know you got caught up in a in his sexy eyes or whatever it is so that's kind of their vibe um i don't feel like it's necessarily a welcoming vibe from their ancestors it's more status finances money spiritual ranking like do your like do they have respect for your your ancestors basically they probably already kind of consulted them and kind of toe to toe like mm, i don't know they have that kind of vibe okay i feel like they are very strong whether or not it's a spiritual family it can be a family that has a big energy because remember there's a lot of different types of magics right the the colonizers that took over america did their own types of magic and shoot blood magic right and you know founded the original buildings this is us y'all where i'm talking about here according to a whole bunch of astrology and magics and stuff so even if descendants don't know it they still are benefiting from those privileges and those protections that result um from that right so what i'm saying is sometimes even if the the newer generations don't know it's such an, in, an inbuilt like spiritual protection even if it's not in the best of ways that you know it's like just be aware of that the family doesn't have to really seem real spiritual or magical for them to have a very strong set stubborn magical wall of protection from their ancestors okay and so that's what i'm feeling for them they might come off as like a practical family or just okay they just focus on business capitalism this and that they're not real spiritual or woo woo but low key they they have a strong spiritual protection and a very stubborn family um their family thinks of relationships as a business transaction kind of like their ancestors a little tip for tat a little bit what would you add to our lineage like they're very serious about that again they might let their their ancestors run out the, their descendants run out the back door and play around and you know because they're like well we're passion we're passionate you know if their blood's up um they have tempers they they have yeah their ancestors have tempers okay definitely fire at gate with the lava stone here so they're the kind that they would definitely like more their permission and to approve you before you would approach and connect and if you were try, trying too much to, to like punish or control the destiny or the fate or something of their descendant because their descendant was a little wild sometimes had an attitude or because you couldn't control them they would push back on that they would not like that they're like no we we connect with what's going to happen with their fate and destiny you don't try to come over here and intervene because you didn't get what you want from them and try to get you know the courts or this or that they wouldn't like that they they would throw a lot of havoc your way um for that so what i'm seeing is like you know when couples fight and then they have custody battles and then they try to make someone look bad in court or no the, these descendants would not do that it doesn't matter how crazy their their descendant is out here or these ancestors wouldn't it doesn't matter how crazy their descendant would be out here in these streets mm -mm. they'd be like that's family business as far as we're concerned we're gonna back up whatever we need to because don't nobody touch our descendants life okay so it's just good to know who you're dealing with <laughs> that's what they're what they're doing um as far as a hanky panky time or whatever and just you know getting it on in the sheets they probably won't care much they let their you and their descendant whatever knock the boots if you're trying to be more um when it comes to like having children with this person or if you're trying to make a long um or children that would be recognized by the family long term or if you're trying to get like marriage with this person or something their ancestors are going to get very involved in that situation and if they feel like you have no respect for their family the way they do things in their religion you're going to feel that energy like you could chew it okay you're going to feel that 
that um, wall between you and that person in that relationship and you're going to be like, ma'am, why can't we just get it together? It's going to be their ancestors if you don't match up with the quality. So for those of you who you already know that and you're like, yeah, like I just, our families are different. I don't get down with the energy of their family that's going to be a problem because their ancestors are very stubborn and they're not going to back out they're not going to be the kind that just let y'all have a relationship and do what you want so <laughs> that's the if you if you guys are just kicking it like your ancestors are chill they're like oh have a good time boo boo and then you know as long as you keep it healthy shoot you can have you can have 10 more you can go ahead and have you know a relationship you know a week for as long as you want like <laughs> your ancestors are more like laid back right now and just want you to have a good time and be romantic and stuff their ancestors are very serious now if you are on a similar vibration and have the same values as, as this person's family um and you can feel that energetically and it's clicking now that you're in the door shoot you're in the door if that's the case they're coming to get you like when y'all get married okay that's for a, a select few of you i do feel like a lot of you are gonna be like oh i knew it like you were bumping that energetic head okay so i got six options i gotta hurry up y'all um so that's what i'm seeing for y'all please like share subscribe and comment and we thank your ancestors and their ancestors so much for letting us know a little bit what's going on if you want more you can always come and get a personal read or sit and connect with them yourselves of course talk to your ancestors y'all but like share subscribe and comment and i'll talk to you again on another one all right for those of you that chose number two what are the messages from your ancestors Firstly, and then we'll go into any messages from the other side if their ancestors have some for you. So romantic relationship messages from your ancestors for you and about your current relationship or status. Okay, how funny. I did not even put a dice in here, but y'all got a dice. They said we wanted some charms too. They cracking me up. You got the other half of the honey calcite. We have an aventrine. We have a rutilated quartz, sunstone, tiger's iron, um, selenite, lapis lazuli, sapphire, and a dice. Okay. That is so funny, and I couldn't even feel that in there. They just threw that in there, y'all. What? They said it's the roll of the dice. Boom. <laughs> All right, so you guys got some tricks to ancestors. That's what that tells me right there. You got some playful. Just when you think something's a go, boom, they throw you something else out the window, okay? They throw you another little crush. They throw you another little relationship curveball. They just like it to be fun and interesting. You have at least one strong ancestor around you who's like, come on, it's a game it's a it's fun don't you want to have some playfulness so some of you who are earth signs and you're just trying to get something stable and practical they're mm -mm, your ancestors not having that they're like don't you want to feel the rush don't you want to be you know know you're alive and be excited like don't you just want something yeah bigger over something like <laughs> make it juicy come on now have win each other back like you have an ancestor that likes to stir things up they're like come on now you know what it's like you know what they say they say when you're uh, reading the story as a fan like a fandom you hate when the author kills characters off or does you know problems in the book but when you're a writer you love it and it's so funny any of you who are authors it's true you'll be like oh my god like you might regret it sometimes for certain things but you're like oh yes we're gonna do this problem and we're gonna you know the character is gonna have to work through this and then there's gonna be this wonderful reward and climax afterwards and it's funny and you have an ancestor who's like that they really like to get up in your relationships and meddle and co-create and um matchmaker matchmaker make you a match okay it's like man some of you have like gemini venus or something and they love to play with that you have like third house placements and just when you about to settle down they'll say look at there across the street <laughs> look at that person over there <laughs> yes i'm licking my lips like because that's what i'm channeling in is that kind of kind of vibe and you're just like ancestor come on now <laughs> maybe they came from a time where it wasn't monogamous or something or you know that just wasn't a priority for of theirs but there's this feeling where they're like you have so many soulmates though they so cute come on now you know just a little something something um 
and it's not that they think of themselves as disloyal it's just that they're playful they feel like they're loyal to love like <laughs> like you know we gotta it's everywhere like we gotta get it every time we can um it's just the feeling that they have um there's a big leo and sagittarius feeling here as well some aries okay yes yes and a few cancers all right just channeling in the next energy i'm feeling another ancestral presence come in and kind of push that one okay like you talked enough let's get out <laughs> well, let me come forward and tell them let me all right lay a little now this energy that i'm getting is a little bit more suave okay this is a little bit more you know let me let me school you it's very chill very chill I would, if I had to go with the zodiac sign, I would say Leo, but like the chill Leos that are real smooth. Yeah. And this vibe is just like, this is like the ancestor you would call in when you need to know how to sweet talk someone, when you need to know how to like handle someone, <laughs> when you need to, um, you know, just flex a little bit, but not seem like you're flexing. Yes. That's, this is the vibe right here this 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 duo right here though that's gonna get you in trouble and get you out of trouble i would think because this is a, a like the love connection one i feel like you guys some of you feel this presence and you're like yes i feel that come in and it helps me know how to like sh you know smooth and it helps me know how to come on to somebody and you know how to dress how to act right y'all have that um that little gift there that helps you uh, entice others to do your bidding right that gift of persuasion that's this ancestor right here the real smooth real smooth real old school kind of feel real mm-hmm yeah and so they're very gut centered they're like come on you gotta use it like <laughs> basically let it do what it do like why you hold yourself back this is a very solar plexus kind of reading with some sacral chakra in there and a little third eye okay but like you know how people think how they feel you know how to read people and you know how to make them move how you want them to move so what you worried about what you worried about <laughs> this is why are you coming to us about relationship advice like you got it the question isn't will they do it is when are you gonna have them do it <laughs> the question ain't are they gonna bring you something it's what do you want them to bring you like this is kind of the vibe your ancestors have like they are not worried they would just laugh at you it's like the the imagery i'm getting is like they would laugh at you and keep on playing dice or something if you came up complaining about some love problem they would look at you like okay sure because you can't because you can't reel them in okay you know they don't believe it they don't buy it they're like no we are too smooth too attractive we have too many options in this family and you're gonna are you are you crying oh you must be acting <laughs> are you in the play they don't believe it they don't believe it at all they're like if you're not with that person it's because you don't want them because if you really wanted them the the juice the vibe the honey the nectar it would just call them right in and you would know how to wrap them around your finger because you do so either you're afraid of your juice okay you're afraid of that pull that you have which is a real thing some of you are pisces pisces get very scared of that <laughs> right we can glamour anybody but we get afraid of it right and we're taught we're we're taught to be ashamed of our attractiveness when we're young right so we push that vibe away and Scorpios can be like that too, right? You get made to be um, ashamed of your attract attractiveness and so you don't use it anymore. And then ironically, you think that you can't attract people and that's what your ancestors are saying. They're like, no, you have no problem attracting who you want. You have no problem being the cream of the crop, the best of the best, okay? It's just if you mind trick yourself out of it. And if you do, there might be a reason listen to your intuition use that third eye because we smart we ain't stupid okay they're like you got a good third eye and who you need to be loyal to is yourself okay it's about what you want in this situation point blank now be respectful i feel like they're very respectful you know that gentlemanly kind of player energy <laughs> they're like mm, i mean we play around are we players no um 
I think they're respectful. I don't think they're disrespectful, the energy they have, but it's that be true to oneself, know what you want, because the more that you know what you want, the more you can be authentic in your connections. And the more you can just call it in because you can get what you want, okay? That's that's what they have to say. And they're saying good vibes. It's all good vibes because it's the, the selenite here. It's all higher energy, but they're like getting lucky and about being lucky because you are lucky. <laughs> it's about do you really want it or not? And are you going to let the situation happen? Are you going to let what you want come to you? Do you know how to just draw it in and elicit it? It's very Venus energy, Venus and Leo, Venus and Sagittarius. Okay, let's see what they say with the dice. Two, yep, they said no, we got it on two, that's what we wanted. Yeah, then I'm just seeing someone pulling in what they want, but already knowing what it is. Okay. <laughs> And you know what it reminds me of is kids parties this is what I'm seeing kids parties We did this one time where we wanted to have one of those fishing things that they would always have at like school parties where you Pretend to fish over something and they put a prize on it And so we made one of those right <laughs> for one of my younger siblings party and it was so fun And so we got to pick what to put on there or hear and listen what they were saying They wanted so much and just tie it on for them and then throw it back over <laughs> the little paper oh, fake water That's what they're like. They're like is that easy? It's that easy, y'all, to get a relationship, to get a sacral, a chakra connection, okay, to get a little sexy time. It is that easy. They're like, there, there is nothing wrong with you, okay? They're like, your identity, your personality is part, is fleek, okay? It's, it's, it's great. They do not want to hear anything about you feeling like it's not, all right? And that's just as simple as it is for them. They're like, listen to your intuition. And if you are rejecting a connection for some reason by not allowing it to come to you, listen to why that is and go and get something that you do actually really want instead of trying to get something you don't actually want deep down. Now let's see for the other person, for those of you who have another person, their ancestor and connections, what they say. Okay, we got that lava stone again. We have Unikite, Magenta Agate. We have another piece of Aventrine, Ocean Jasper, Tiger's Eye, and we have a Rune here, okay? Bloodstone. And I do feel like it's here more for the Bloodstone than the Rune, because um, it was down, which I flipped over, okay? So I'm getting, there's uh, Scorpio, Capricorn, Pisces, and Sagittarius coming from their side. Little Leo, Aries energy still here as well. It's inter interesting because you guys are making a ring here, your ancestors. I feel like your ancestors are good collaborators. Maybe they've kind of known each other over the years. And I'm seeing a, f a friend vibe that's there as well okay they don't like there to be beef between you guys they know there's there's tempers and there's um high emotions especially the water fire they also know there could be a tendency to be to have some grudges like maybe you both can be sore losers okay it's like two expert gamblers or poker players like going head to head and then you feel some kind of way because you you maybe you've never um, met some met your match this way or you know how to lose or bite the bullet but they're really saying that for those of you that there's loyalty and authenticity and you both, you know, you have good vibes, they're like, it's time to let the emotional, the emotional baggage drop. Um, there's quite a lot of you where the friendship and the connection that you have is bigger than any little ten temper tantrum or miscommunication or distance that you guys have had, okay? Some of you are overseas, over oceans, um, different cultural um, identities I don't see cultural identity being a problem with your ancestors okay I think you both have enough healed ancestors that even if you guys come from demographics where um, there's there's been problems they your ancestors um, like let's say if historically and even in modern times right now their ancestors were like racist to your ancestors um, their ancestors are healed enough that they would never encourage that in their descendant and they would be wanting their descendant to heal from that okay um yeah because some aren't like that some will just kind of use you and then they they're okay with their ancestors maintaining that demographic of power right I don't see that here. I see them wanting true healing and their ancestors will 
prompt them to actually heal with the unikite that's deep emotional healing that we feel so intensely we can feel it in our bodies i'm also getting for those who there's been a history of drug or um uh, alcohol abuse their ancestors um, that are healed from that do not encourage that so again sometimes you can get kind of you know ancestors who are still in a broken cycle and kind of tricksters and have that kind of addictive spirit that are low vibe that don't you know they're not really helping their descendants they're just kind of vicariously living through them that's not the case um, for them so if there has been some negative family backstory they do have very strong good ancestors that have kind of taken over who are like the head ancestors who are in a good way and who don't want any harm or um negativity to come towards you and who will be urging their descendant to you know heal and come in a good way okay so i do see that being very good i do see them um there being a humility and a recognition of equality between your ancestors and theirs but first and foremost it's more about exploratory energy it's more about friendship it's more about um journeying together and finding healing and just having a kind of kindredship and kindred spirits and loyalty amongst each other and learning that you can explore emotional um emotional space and that you can be kind of your own stubborn rugged individuals with each other and that that's okay that's more their focus it's almost like when you put two toddlers together for a play date and you just want them to both know who they are and both know that they can be contrasting but that they can learn from each other and that they're both wonderful and supportive and you just want a really healthy energy for them to see their similarities and their differences and just grow and have you know it's just like this beautiful growth of little spirits like that's how your guys' ancestors see each other so there's no big marriage plans or anything that they're forcing there's no um you know other agenda but literally it's kind of like a play date <laughs> they they, they kind of have a setup like a play date for their descendants and they would like you guys to get along they would like to you know break any bad habits they're not going to be encouraging or allowing the other one to treat each other badly or negatively or anything of that nature um i don't think they're against if you guys happen to you know in the metaphor grow up and and get married get together i don't see them being opposed but it's not an agenda that they're pushing in this relationship they're not overly encouraging it they just want you guys to know how to be friends get along and have a good incarnation basically and to heal whatever that is that needs to be healed okay so those are your messages, your love relationship messages from your ancestors and from the other person for those of you involved um, with another person or crushing on another person. If you like this reading, think about getting a personal with me and even more importantly, think about sitting there and connecting with your ancestors yourself as well because that's a very vital connection to have. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment and I'll talk to you again on another one. Hi, number twos. We didn't actually read the back of your card. It says, forgiveness. Um, stop focusing your energy on past events, for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Okay, so for some of um, your ancestors I got where they're like, no, it's okay. And some of them were like, nah, they need to hear that. So for those of you who hits, it hits for a reason all right we're gonna go ahead and keep going thank you so much <laughs> sorry for that delayed message as they decided who needed to hear it and who didn't bye all right for those of you that chose number three um we are going to go ahead and get into your ancestor relationship messages first we're going to cast for your ancestors messages then we'll do a secondary casting along with that to see um any messages from the other side if you have another person their ancestors okay okay people who chose number three ancestors thank you thank you you can go ahead and give us the reading that you need here crystals that you need okay and one dropped way 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 back here okay this is the one where there are three groups of ancestors okay because there's a third party energy interfering i literally was hearing could you stop that like i could feel my hand being pushed around as i was trying to ch channel in your ancestors and her could you stop that like 
they are basically annoyed with other people trying to interfere we also have this purple stone which has connections to like family and business and being very tight unit and then the fluorite which i was getting a similar vibe and i felt it out in my mind i was seeing that we're going to get the fluorite but it's taking on the same meaning as the other purple stone and then we got both of them so basically i'm seeing two strong families that have their own agendas head to head and your ancestors feel pushed back and like they have another family like ancestors that are trying to come in and tell them what to do okay so we're going to figure out who this is is it the other person and for those of you who have a partner or a crush or is it the third party if you have two people or if the other person has someone else and their ancestors are aware of it even if they aren't and they're trying to come in and push so we're going to clarify that but first let's just look at we're going to pause everyone else and talk to your ancestors so if everyone could respectfully step back okay we're going to talk to the quarant's ancestors here all right so we also have the blue gene quartz we have kyanite we have a sunstone from the ocean selenite uh, magenta agate cinnabar we have the tectite face down we have the honey calcite half um face up so i do see you guys really searching it's like you're searching for some sweetness searching for a bit of love um almost like that alms for the poor kind of feeling and just like <sighs> it's almost like wanting a connection of any kind like man good friendship good sexual connection love relationship anything anything out here anything for anything for the the poor in love for the love poor okay like man i go for getting sprung i go for having a bestie i would go for anything right now like it feels dry all right and so what let me see if all those crystals are in oh yeah they are okay <laughs> sorry that it's a little dark y'all i'll try to see if I can get a filter or something on it but um it's nighttime so <laughs> no natural lighting um yeah so I see you guys having a very like um just kind of classic down to earth kind of vibe all right or that's what your ancestors want for you in your love relationship literally blue jean you know um just classic <laughs> um easy to approach down to earth day-to-day -day connections right um a lot of you focus a lot on business and work and you're like i'm just trying to live my life i'm just trying to keep my life together and just have just you know keep myself together have family have friends have a you know a romantic relationship nothing too wild nothing too crazy nothing too too out there i just want to know love and have a connection okay and you're like and if it's not too too much to ask i would love for it to, you know to feel it in my soul and have this soul connection and something that i feel it has meaning in the greater universe and our astrology and all of that too so i feel like you know your request is not too much what the ancestors ancestors are feel oh my gosh ancestors are feeling okay um okay some of you have the name annie or a sister named annie okay so for those who that fits um or some kind of an an name okay Annabelle something of that nature okay um but yeah some of you are even looking like it's it's just love that you want of any kind you're like literally I could like the card here I could hug a tree I could get an animal like I just want to have love in my life I want to have connectivity all right I want to connect to just so many different forms and kinds of love and physical love spiritual love all different forms and your ancestors ancestors are like why do i why can't i say that word for y'all <laughs> um you know what it's reminding me of i think you guys have like a hip ancestor ancestor oh my god who is not used to being one so maybe they're a more recently passed away person you know what it reminds me of is when people um feel like their kids had kids too soon and they're not ready to be called grandma so they have them call them glamma like you're glamorous like glamma or they're like no call me by my name that's what i'm getting from from you guys they're almost like don't call us ancestors like 
<laughs> it's too it's too soon or it's too that's that sounds too old for us and you just have like this like no like we're still we're still young and cute like we barely just came over here we're not like these old 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 ancestors no disrespect but this is the feeling of who I'm channeling for you so for some of you you're gonna be giggling you're gonna know who it is you're gonna be like oh my gosh that's my great grandma that's my grandma that's my auntie you're gonna know who it is so for a lot of you it's gonna be a person who's more recently passed over who you did know this lifetime or you've heard within the last family generations you know who it is okay yes <laughs> i was like what is going on they're like shh, shh don't say that <laughs> that's too much <laughs> oh my gosh okay um yeah so they they want you to have it all too they're like we just we want you to have the the nice house and the picket fence and the you know the family and the you do this on thursdays you have game night on wednesdays and you have your cute boo and you have your friends and just that whole little feel just that that's what they want for you um with that cosmic connection okay they're like no it's not too much to ask for so that's pretty straightforward they're like no you're right they feel like you're pretty pre pretty pure hearted but they feel like you might ask too much outside of yourself though that's that's the concern here is um asking too much outside of yourself for this connection and feeling kind of tapped out and feeling like no matter how much affection or connection you get from others that it's not going to be enough that it's not going to fill all the spaces and emptiness and holes and kind of things you know what i mean and um you might also find that it's hard to find all of those qualities in one person so like maybe you can be friends with someone but then you're not sexually attracted to them and then you're sexually attracted to somebody else but you can't feel that friend kind of like I could hang around you you know forever long-term relationship with them and so it could be very difficult for you to get all of these qualities and feel like you can actually tolerate being around a person um, on a more day-to-day -day basis or that like maybe you find a person but then you're like it, they make no sense with who I am in regards to like my career and what I would be doing like I couldn't have them come around my work or you know it's like you it's like you're kind of very um compartmentalized in a lot of vast places in your life um some of you have like Aquarian energy right like a little Aquarius energy in your chart can make you relate to a ton of people but not feel like anybody fully relates to you okay um some of you are water signs some of you which is Cancer Pisces Scorpio um I'm seeing Aries leo and capricorn um yeah so that's that's their biggest concern and they're not really saying that you should um lower your standards actually they want you to kind of go to those high standards they want you to find somebody who has just a as much of a vast <sighs> desire for healthy relationships to to be honest i feel like a lot of you actually have healthy um designs for your relationships like you understand that um you can't just hold up one person obsessively all right storage got full and it cut me off y'all but what i was saying is that basically your ancestors are for most of you they feel like you have a good handle on knowing that you can't just pick one person hold them up and expect them to complete your world you know that you need a variety of relationships like your work relationships your friendships your family different dynamics and um, because of that it might be kind of confusing for you how to let one person be such an intimate like pick a singular person all right now i am getting for some of you you might be open relationship you might not want to marry and single down to one person you might um be like polyamorous or something of that nature so for some of you that's going to apply and i think that you guys have the ability to have many different types of relationships and be very healthy in them now some of you you do have the message that it's time to stop pigeonholing the people that you have relationships with and to realize that everybody has their own organic way of connecting with you we can only try to you know force people to fit a societal dynamic or our own personal role casting 
so much you know what I mean it just doesn't work it helps if you're trying to get your relationships and this is in general in your life to blossom you need to let them come to you who they are authentically it's kind of like if you have an Aries you can sit there till you're blue in the face and try to make them be a Capricorn but they're not gonna be a Capricorn they might learn a few tricks if they decide they like it but like what's the point of getting an Aries and then being mad at them that they're not a Capricorn like it doesn't make sense and you might be like well you know society says and you know this generation that we're incarnating that all Aries need to be Capricorns it don't matter they're still gonna be Aries right and it's the same exact thing not every soul believes in what societal or religious relationship dynamics say and if you were to incarnate in a different time maybe some of your ancestors or loved ones past it um, it would be completely different rules of society for relationships so you're, you're those of you who are having a hard time they're like if you want that real spiritual tea basically you need to know that not all spirits are meant for the same relationship like not all spirits can work nine to five come home be married with 2.5 kids and you know play this supposed divine masculine role that you know people are making up while well, you play this supposed divine feminine role and this and this and, like that's that's not how it works <laughs> people are a variety of different energies um people can be a spectrum of energies people like to play different roles people change throughout their lives we change and to try to catch someone and keep them in a little cave of energy and make them be what we want them to be because we want to believe in some collective reading that we heard or we want to believe in the um best-selling whatever relationship book or whatever it is you know what I mean our favorite rom-com that's just not how it is so for some of you you need to hear that because the universe is like not bringing that to you and you're upset and your ancestors are like no it, it makes sense honey you gotta you gotta open up to the fact that dating a real person an actual non you know hiding from themselves a, an awakened full-fledged person who is has wholeness within themselves it's going to be a whole mixed basket of a whole bunch of different energies they're going to be connected to a bunch of different people they're going to have all different types of different relationships right and some people don't want that some people when they really think about it they're like no actually I want someone who has a broken home because I don't want to have to share them with their family that's real like that's that's kind of painful right is that love but a lot of people honestly if they were to be honest they feel that way they don't want their their spouse to have family they don't want their spouse to have friends right and your ancestors ancestors your <laughs> loved ones past are saying that's not what they want for you they want you to have that growth and that maturity so some of you are very good at that almost too good where you let people go and you don't allow yourself to grow and have meaning with each other because you're so big on freeing people and letting them be who they will be and live in their best life right and some of you are the other side where you've been more um, control freaky and you know putting people in specific roles and things and not letting them breathe and live and then they struggle out until they can escape right so finding the happy medium the natural connection like here with the tree and this woman here the trees naturally give oxygen we naturally breathe it in right it is a uh, what is it uh, a relationship of reciprocity and wholeness it's just very natural okay so you guys will find your natural fit and so it's saying let it breathe all right because we already have the clash of the loved ones past over here we need to talk about okay so that's their biggest relationship message and they're saying if the relationship you're clinging to doesn't fit that right now and you're clinging then that's not the one okay and for those of you who um are like well i don't have a relationship because i freed them all but you know darn good and well that you had a couple of options and probably one in particular that you know was a pretty close fit and maybe could have fit if you would have tried to you know put the jacket on they're saying you need to call them up and you need to you need to talk to that person again and you need to let you know um put the theories aside for a minute and let them have the opportunity to see if they could fit into your day-to-day -day life and be closer okay now from that other person's energy ooh, their ancestors ancestors <laughs> can I call them ancestors? I'm calling everyone loved ones past in this one okay um, 
<laughs> number threes i don't know they're ready they feel giggly okay so the interfering party is the third party those are the pushy ancestors and loved ones past what did i just say y'all what did i say but then i keep trying to say and they don't want me to say okay all right y'all i'm tripping out my crystal bag and my charms bag are very separate now and yet i keep getting a few charms in the crystal bag okay for, so for the person that you guys those of you who do have a romantic interest whether you're shunning them or clinging to them too much um the energy for them we have bronzite we have aquamarine tangerine quartz opalite which i'm going to bring that up so you can see it uh, ragonite and the sun charm with a um, tangerine or a quartz they have a good vibe like their ancestors and oh my god i can't get through it y'all their loved ones pass like literally my hand is still tingling like how opalite looks with all the rainbows and glowies that's how their energy feels is sparkly and happy and light-hearted i mean they have sagittarius leo uh, pisces crystals over here okay some aries and libra i'm getting taurus okay those are the signs i'm getting they have a very happy sparkly rainbows and sunshine kind of feel their ancestors oh my god <laughs> their group does um <laughs> what is this ban on this word for y'all okay what is this it's yours it's your love from the past who are like don't say it for any and i'm like i'm trying because they don't mind if i say but yours said don't say okay <laughs> hopefully mine can help me through <laughs> Woo! some of y'all are thinking this is funny and some of y'all are like what is going on <laughs> let's do the reading all right literally my hand is still tingling and glowing and feeling giggly and light-hearted and happy and silly i swear some of y'all the love feelings you think you have is probably just feeling their loved ones pass around you because that's how their energy feels like i'm in happy-go-lucky fairyland or something like <laughs> that's what they feel like they have a beautiful childlike energy around them okay very youthful energy coming through i feel like they ain't a problem with their with their um with their crew okay the energy i feel with them is that their loved ones past are very childlike and very impressionable i think they um might sign off kind of on anything they feel like they don't want them to have anything negative in their life okay because we do have bronzite they do want them to be responsible and do the right thing but it's a very neverland feeling that they have like just a very like um you know otherworldly other realms like I said, mermaids, fairies, rainbows, unicorns, like, you know, just very um, lighthearted, mystical, mythical, everything's grand kind of feeling. And so I do feel like their spirit crew, they're showing me, okay, no, we could be tough. Fair, like fairy energy can be tough. They do. They have like an otherworldly mystical creature kind of vibe to them. But they're like, no, we can be tough. We can, you know, don't mess with us. But when it comes to like just like love or happy things like they're they're likely to sign off on anything they just like joy and feeling good and if as long as somebody doesn't have horrible vibes they don't really um have a problem now if someone tries to hurt their loved ones they're gonna come out like kind of like the little rascals like you have to beat us all up you're gonna try to mess with our little descendant but they're very um impressionable and more happy-go-lucky i would say than a lot of other loved ones past that i've seen as a group um probably some of the most like cheery light-hearted just yeah youthful ones that i've ever connected with i'm like just trying to explain it but used to getting a lot of the same words so what i'm getting is this third party for a lot of you there's a third party ancestor ancestor group okay i can say it for them <laughs> And they're very pushy they're very pushy and i think they push in on your partner over here for those of you who this applies if you don't have a third party situation and this does not apply for you you can even click in click off if you feel like um it will sway you too much or get you worried or stressed but for those of you you know you have it 
okay you might be like well this person's amazing like they're they're like sunshine themselves like they are you know an impressionable little leo sagittarius aries something um pisces taurus um because some of the taurus can be gullible okay the, the ones that aren't in their stubbornness yet they can be gullible and the people don't see that right i think that's why sometimes taurus are so stubborn because once they believe something they're gonna believe it all hook line and sinker right and so you might be like well what's going on well because their spiritual dis um predecessors <laughs> are so uh, kind of let every go with the flow like let everything kind of zoom in and out feel like everything will work out in the end these other third parties ancestors so ancestors oh my god uh, predecessors over here yeah like they come heavy they come heavy with really intense energy okay they have unikite smoky quartz um they have this dirtier uh, uh moonstone that's in here they have the honey calcite and the peach moonstone they got tiger's iron they just pack a heavy punch and for some reason it's like the third party has told their spirit crew or their prayers their ancestors ancestors what they want and they want this other they want the same person as you okay and their crew like they're the ones if you guys just saw descendants of those commercials on disney i've been seeing it they would be the ones who are like um have the the evil <laughs> the evil fairy tale parents okay and so they're like yeah we'll go we'll go jack that person for you shoot put on our evil costumes let's go over there and get them <laughs> let's go over there to neverland and steal this little person for you and so that's that's the clash that i'm feeling is between the third party's ancestors and yours <laughs> okay that's the beef that's the beef and a lot of you are sitting here like i just want a little house with a little picket fence like i'm just i just want my boo and they're all cute they're all in neverland and then this third party is over here like the the evil queen or something <laughs> all right and some fairy tale and it's just like the strangest little mix here of energies just encroaching on each other so i would say that they're very involved um i mean to a certain extent they're this third parties um loved ones past might be even more involved than they are at this point it's almost like once they got they're on the scent they have a plan they're going forward they might be trying to push this even more than the third party is aware of the third party might be like okay whatever i'm over it we're broken up and their loved ones past are like oh no like we already put this in play you already told us we already ain't no one gonna hoodwink us and take this person away when we said we we're gonna get them for you so they're kind of um you know very actively in the situation they could also be very upset if they feel like um the person that you're interested in has slighted their descendant or broken their heart or um kind of done away with any vows that they didn't they didn't give their permission for them to do away, uh, do away with the vows so i feel like your person could be feeling very lighthearted. they got out of this relationship they didn't want to be in or they're planning to or something and the, you know when you do prayers before the spirit world you're joining in lineages and stuff like that when you if they've been married and some of them it was just like living together right you have both ancestors uh loved ones past group right there <laughs> oh my god this is the funniest thing i've never had this happen where i can't say that word during your reading um but but for whatever reason they're they're salty okay the third party's loved ones past are salty about the person that you're inquiring about leaving the situation and being drawn more to you and i feel like you your ancestors and theirs have a, a bigger affinity no disrespect i said it again but um yeah there's a, a more of a natural affinity there than with theirs the third parties Mm -hmm. but they're like no nah. they, they have plans they're like okay we can either get them back in with a sexy time we can get them back in you know how could we draw them back in we could use the friend angle things of that nature so i don't think it's the last of the third party trying to get them or you know keep them in the connection especially if they're still married or something if that's the case 
they're not trying to let them out their vows okay that's what that is um but if they've broken up but you know it's been more recent especially or if or if they're just an ex who keeps coming back that energy is pretty hardcore um I feel like social media, there's still an ener energetic presence there. Their loved ones past might even be popping them up on there. Like, they're just like, no, they're not letting go of this easily. Um, they feel like they put their work in and they feel like they can kind of um, bulldoze the loved ones past of who you're interested in. Okay. So that's the inside tea. Let's look at the card from your loved one's past. It says, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Okay, so I feel like you're good. Um, not all of you have this third party situation. Um, for those that you did, you already could feel it and know it was really intense. And now you know why, because I mean, you might not want to go straight head to head. I don't feel like you need to go head to head with this third party. Um, your ancestors <laughs> sorry your loved ones past are like we got it okay we're gonna handle it give thanks you're gonna have blessings come um it's gonna work itself out and either this is the right flow for you and it's already sinking up or it's not and they're gonna move that away like a cloud off your sunshine okay that was such a strange reading and i've never had this especially in crystal form come out in this exact way and have such a persistent <laughs> don't say that word when it comes to I've, I have been told that about certain inside jokes that like if we're calling in um, the spirit group of um, somebody who the the current the person asking the reading has been making fun of and calling a nickname where they're like no don't say that because you know a lot of times when you break up with people they'll give them a code name or a nickname so I've had that quite often where they're like don't call them that nickname that you make fun of them for if we're gonna come and consult on a reading right <laughs> that makes sense but just the don't say and all right so that's your reading please like share subscribe and comment um connect with me if you would like a pers personal reading <laughs> um with your loved ones past and remember to connect with them yourself bye all right for those of you that chose number four um let's see what your ancestors ancestors <laughs> if you guys didn't watch number three their loved ones past did not want me to use the word ancestors and so now i'm like stuttering on it and um, like i feel like oh, blah, 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 blah. i need to like do something weird stretch my tongue ch tie a cherry stem or something to get my tongue back being able to say that word because they were just like no don't say that i think they felt like they weren't old enough okay to, be, to have that word okay so for you guys thank you for connecting thanks for coming in oh i feel a happy feeling i feel like your ancestors are so happy to have you coming in for a reading okay let's see what their love advice relationship advice they're saying dig in mix it up what they have for you is and then we'll go ahead and we will um pull in also if you have a love interest and see from their ancestors side all right so you have a whole lot of crystals here Hopefully all of those are in view as far as I can see. All right. Wow. You have this fortified, the way that they hit there. So this is Moldavite. We'll go ahead and take it out the bag. It's small and a little bit fragile, so I kind of leave it in. Wow. If you can see that, it's just here. All right. You also got this little iridescent um, bead here which is a uh, painted stone and we have the blue jean quartz peach moonstone smoky quartz opalite i should point to them blue jean quartz peach moonstone smoky quartz opalite tangerine aura quartz fluorite and a um bloodstone rune okay i'm getting libra aquarius cancer gemini Scorpio Capricorn and Sagittarius okay could also have some Pisces so quite a few signs here let's see their message for you they don't want you to stop your goals okay that's very important 
They do not want your day-to-day -day life stopping. They don't want you outgrowing your clothes or or um, shrinking in your clothes because your diet is changing so drastically because of relationship concerns. All right, they don't want you to stop seeing happy synchronicities or just believing love because you've had some hard times. Um, it's almost like they don't want all of your happiness, like your so happy songs and seeing birds and seeing rainbows and like happy things to all be attached to one person and feel destroyed when you feel disappointed by one person in love. They want you to still see that the love in those things and to see happiness. Um, some of you, it's even been through friendships or through maybe um, love triangles and friendships that and romantic situations that you have had like some wounds and some tough situations or just confused feelings and they just feel like okay it's a part of life to have to figure out relationships it's a part of life that at some point we end up liking the same person as our friend or you know there's some weirdness in in human interactions and they just feel like it's time for that to heal and to let go of that dynamic some of you it's you know it wasn't even a big fight it was more just like oh like the message that oh I'm the one who doesn't get the doesn't get the guy or I'm the person who is just the sidekick friend I'm not the the main character friend you know things of that nature so they really want you to rewrite that story they're saying you have so many different aspects to yourself that you've hardly begun to explore um, you have that wallflower energy like literally like your backs up against the wall like you know when people say um, are you holding that wall up because you're just like pressed against the wall leaning up not joining in um, it's like even when you if you were in the center of the party um, or in a popular group or something you would still have this reserved energy as if you weren't this detached energy as if you're not really there as if you're not really accepted um, some of you felt like you had this like facade or this mask and some of you are wearing that currently within your current partnership or with somebody that you're trying to court and then you wonder why it, it never feels like enough it never feels like love is touching you for more than a moment like a flash and it's because there's still that part of you inside where your spirit isn't being fully accepted like it doesn't feel like you can really be yourself to yourself okay and that you can allow yourself to be loved for who you are show your full self to somebody and so they're saying that is very necessary if you want to have this loving connection with others okay you have to let people know that yeah, that like you're a, a full-fledged person in all of who you are. Um, and I'm hearing not projecting. Okay, so maybe only in moments of projection when it's kind of like... Like, have you ever had someone like try to... When people will say you're trying too hard to be my friend or you're trying too hard to make people like you, that's usually when people are projecting themselves. Like, they go through a long time of feeling detached from relationships and people and then they just push who they are outward at others all at once in like a, a desperate attempt to connect. And that's too much for other people, right? Because it's so dependent on other people. It's codependent and so people pull away. And so there's this need to more on a day-to-day -day basis, like show who you are in different ways, like your talents, your skills, your likes, your dislikes. I feel like some of you kind of try to compartmentalize what you would see as your shadow side and your light side, and yet they're both iridescent and have rainbows in this. Um, some of you have like way out there skills and are just very unique, different people. Some of you are definitely like star seeds and have connection to other realms and psychic gifts and things. And so you just have a natural way of feeling a bit like an outsider or, or like a wallflower and basically your ancestors ancestors are like it's time to blossom okay it's time to um allow yourself to be your authentic self it's time to blossom from the mud from the muck from being downtrodden um some of you have been bullied or oppressed or you know it's just basically like whatever's been trying to keep that lotus blossom smushed down in the mud but that lotus blossom is gonna come up that murky water and it's gonna come to the surface and it's gonna bloom okay regardless no one can stop that except for the lotus so that is their advice they want you to show who you really are okay got to give it up all right i like Aaliyah's version 
um, used to go to parties and stand around because I was too nervous to really get down but my body yearned to be free I went off on the floor so someone could choose me okay or you can choose no more standing upside the wall now I got myself together baby and I'm having a ball all right um and it's that feeling or that that quote where it was like the day came when the pain of staying in the bud was more than the pain that the risk it took to blossom uh, blossom you know and bloom so that's basically what your your ancestors your ancestors i'm sorry i still can't say it from the last one are wanting you to realize about yourself okay you can't fit certain relationships because you're not full-fledged you yet and I think you know that so some, sometimes you try to shrivel and shrink and you know pretend like you're a little raisin but you're a full-fledged group of grapes okay <laughs> you're a whole vineyard over here um, you're not supposed to be someone shrunken up little raisin forgotten on the back patio okay and that's the visual I'm getting so I'm passing it along they're like no you're supposed to be a whole vineyard in here doing tours some fine wine all right uh, a whole lot more so that's their biggest thing um they feel like you guys have outgrown for a lot of you you've outgrown connections you're trying to keep you've outgrown relationships um what they're giving me is just because you send a signal out in space doesn't mean you have to marry the first one that comes back basically right if you really have all this technology or advanced meaning spiritual technology which you do okay spiritual tools it's like keep seeking keep seeking and don't put um it's like don't put all your um hope on one signal it's kind of like don't put all your eggs in one basket but they're giving me this um out, out, outside the box outside the world kind of um expression because a lot of you have that star seed energy this mold right here i can feel it <laughs> um yeah yeah I feel like um, a lot of you too are going to make connections through social media. Some of you have already been doing the sexy time on social media, okay? They don't really have a problem with that. They are showing that there can be better fits and better connections for who you are. I do feel like there could be somebody who's a few people removed on like so mutual friends, mutual friend, and pretty soon you're going to be in a closer circle and link up with them who would be a better fitting partner. So that's why they're saying don't, don't get worried about that first misconception connection or uh, it doesn't work with this person that I met up with or this or that because it might be that person's besties brother okay that you end up connecting with and so they're saying you're not you're you're in in the distant like home run ballpark like a far home run ballpark away from the pr the people that they would have you connect with but you're not right in the same zone but you've been keeping yourself very protected a lot of you have been staying in your house okay um, in your in your sorrows and your woes with just little tidbits of sparkly good moments like pick a cards or whatever fantasy and they're like no we want you to give out get out there and live life and see the good signals that are in everything something that looks negative is giving you a good signal because it's letting you know not that things that are good that are saying yes you know woohoo happy happy fantasy that's good too so they want you to be truthful with yourself they want you to be authentic with yourself don't just go for what seems like a happy delusional time also listen to things that are a bit more you know a little bit more salt a little bit more grit because it's all going to steer you towards your better relationships okay so for those of you who do have a person in mind let's take a look to see what their ancestors um will say okay can we see this down here move that up a little bit so we have sunstone aquamarine tiger's eye cinnabar and desert rose gypsum which is kind of face down we have aries sag leo and we have pisces energy here and could be some capricorns mm-hmm they're mostly focused on um the person you have a crush on i do see a soul connection here like i think your guides kind of get along um your ancestors don't have any problem amongst each other i do feel like more of a business con like contract there 
that's what I'm hearing like business contracts so there could be a contract with you and this person but it's more about things you're supposed to achieve together passions you're supposed to ignite in each other as far as what you're going to go and achieve in the world and kind of a bit more just like personal growth um, triggers you're supposed to give each other and like uh, financial success and career and business is actually more the name of the game mm hmm yeah, they could have 5th house placements, 1st house placements, 12th, 10th, 2nd. Um, yeah, they're pretty, I mean, they have like a, okay, yep, so are we done? <laughs> like, like I get this, this image of like, when you sit down for a conference call or a meeting, and then like they get up like, okay, meeting's over, adjourn. Like basically that's all their ancestors, ancestors had to say was that it's more, and they feel pretty lighthearted. Like, okay, yeah, that's all we got to do. It's just, it's more kind of a business contract that you guys made to help each other out. Um, yes, you're in the same soul group and you have that connection there and that's wonderful and beautiful. Some of you are overseas from each other or one of you lives by a significant body of water but overall they're like yeah well, you're just you know helping each other reach some goals and um you know remember who you are the best qualities of each other like of of yourselves through your connection with each other was the whole point that they that was of this connection okay so it's not negating any other possible you know developments between your guys' spirits it's just saying that there wasn't any you know oh we're gonna have kids we're gonna get married we're gonna be soulmates forever romantically like none of that was really there okay if a little bit of passion happened their their ancestors ancestors will be um okay with it but they're not pushing it and they're kind of like moving on moving on they want to keep their descendant moving forward focus on goals what we got to achieve what we're building in our life what our legacy is um okay did you remember to be a good person you remembered your uh, good qualities from your past life you remember what you need to work on from this connection meaning the connection to you okay good moving on moving forward like that's where their focus is okay mm -hmm. all right so let's read your card look inside yourself examine what is causing you to feel this way so yeah going back to that energy where your ancestors ancestors <laughs> are saying that you're outgrowing um a lot of your connections they're serving their purpose they're moving you along past them i think a lot of you know this and that's why it's hard to blossom and bloom and you know because you're like what well who am i going to fixate on right the next star is so far away where am I going to go? It's like you're traveling in deep space and now you're hitting some open, you know, some open space way out there. And you're like, but the next star so far, what am I going to fixate on on the time? So it might not even be this particular person, but just needing someone to crush and fantasize about. Right. And so your um, message here is to look within yourself and fall in love with that connection again and really just focus on that that guiding star okay uh, all your own flex all your own iridescence and pretty soon you'll look up and you know you'll have someone amazing <laughs> be out here on this moldavite tip okay finding someone super super amazing to come in and they might be an aquarius that's for sure they definitely could be okay so i'm looking for that little bag to put it in oh here it is so that is your reading. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Connect with your ancestors as well. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, the information will be down in the description box. I'll talk to you again on another one. All right, for those of you that chose number five, we're gonna throw some crystals here for your ancestor messages. And we are going to then, after that, check in if you have a crush or romantic uh, interest and see what their ancestors say, okay? Ancestors. <laughs> I stumbled on number three because they didn't want me to say that word. They wanted me to say loved ones past and now my tongue is very hesitant to say it, you guys. So <laughs> working through that. And that is Witchy Pup uh, dreaming. If you just heard that, she makes so many noises when she dreams. So now we're going to go ahead. Messages for those who chose number five. Collective ancestors, please come through and let us know what information they need to hear. Okay, Ooh, we got a lot of the little stones here. We have a moonstone little tooth, 
sapphire, aventrine, honey calcite, a um, little split part here, kyanite, howlite, fire agate, uh, bloodstone. We have two bloodstone pieces. I'm not really reading them as runes this reading. They're coming up more as the bloodstone energy. Um, tangerine aura quartz here, another aventrine that is broken. Yeah. And we have an ocean jasper there, okay? All right, so the message is for you from your ancestors, ancestors about this romantic connection here. I'm seeing a lack of commitment coming through in romantic affairs. I feel like you run out of um, energy for them or emotional space for them very quickly, and it becomes something that um, you feel tired with, you feel like you just, you don't have much more to give. Um, it's more about, for a lot of you, you just want to release emotion. Some of you have almost like this vehement emotion, this like, oh, I want to feel like, oh, why can't I have someone to feel at? You know what I mean? It's like a projection of emotional energy and a release of the energy from your body and your story that you're more wanting to, um, release than about the particular person in a lot of ways okay there's also a huge sexual energy one part of you wanting to use that in like a higher kudalini like creative um artistic kind of way and then part of that energy that feels like it kind of draws you down and is kind of like a negative kind of anchor here and like it gets you your internal compass kind of thrown and you you might feel a bit frustrated it can lead you into some tough um romantic uh situations and it oh i didn't even see in this card there's actually kudalini energy here so it's like you're trying to find the right person to direct this energy at but again it is very much that feeling of direct my energy at somebody versus being in control of your energy and joining in with somebody else that you have chemistry with okay and so because of that, I feel like it's almost like the your ancestors ancestors are saying they've almost kind of like they've broken their tooth trying to get you a right connection because it feels like when they find you someone compatible emotionally or sexually or whatever, you either are too disinterested because you're running after something that doesn't suit you because of this internal need to bring yourself dissatisfaction or you kind of bite at that person or bite off more than you can chew or rush the connection and do a lot of self-sabotaging so they're almost like oh my gosh we're over here with the toothache from all of this growling and biting around that you're doing um you might be having a lot of snappy attitudes or impatience or you know indifference towards others and situations in your life and in the world too because of this internal well i don't get what i want i'm not satisfied i don't have my desires filled and it's like makes this internal grumpiness or um you know like a almost like a being okay with things not turning out well for others or in your life because well of course not because i'm not fulfilled right i'm not fulfilled romantically sexually centrally so it's like this um maybe not making pleasurable situations for other people where there could be because of this internal displeasure that you have okay um so it's like almost this need that like i am seeing like a spiritual bath a cleansing a spiritual release for some of you it's a breaking of a vow is what your ancestors ancestors are saying it's almost like when um you would go to like a sacred fountain or do like you know the current terms they would say like a baptism right so we'd say like a spiritual bath any of those kind of things to cleanse your energy restart and release reset your energy some of you could look at it as a cleansing of your chakras um again a breaking of the vows in your akashic records but a lot of you i think have a very um a very strange mix of maybe some of your past lives being geared towards the pleasure of others and then others other past lives being geared towards your pleasure only it's almost like a dichotomy and having a balance in that is not something that your spirit or body has quite figured out and that's what your what your spirit crew is wanting you to figure out okay your ancestors um are wanting you to figure out here Mm-hmm. Because they're like right now chasing commitment and longevity and relationships and just trying to get someone to confess that they want 
to have a committed relationship with you they're like what's the point because you don't even know if you honestly want to be in a committed relationship or if you can do so in a healthy way so why just chase that like that's not going to bring you a feeling of wholeness and it's not going to bring you satisfaction if you haven't found how to you know blend the different things that would give you pleasure if you haven't learned how to be emotionally fulfilled and sexually fulfilled with somebody it's just going to be this internalized like anger and frustration that keeps getting beat down right and that is never kind of purified and figured out and um, purified meaning go through the fire and figure out what works and what doesn't right like how you purify metal in a fire is what i'm seeing or the way that you work clay and you get all the all the negative you know all the minerals and stuff that you don't want and you have the silt and then you have the clay that actually works you pound it out for forever and you know work it until it's workable and you can make something with it so some of you it's like um you could literally even benefit from deep uh tissue massage reiki just energy work like but physical energy work on your body like your body needs to let things go y'all might need like a juice cleanse like an actual toxic cleanse from your body um, from addictions and escapisms and things just all the way like energetically physically emotionally mentally 100% kyanite works through all the chakras it balances all chakras okay and you have that here eating habits um, because they're like just focusing on relationships and saying like because that's what people do they're like well relationship would make it better just fixate on that instead of the whole house falling apart and everything with me just being completely you know scrumpled up again it's that feeling like your internal compass is just i feel like some of you are wound so tight you're just wound so tight that a sprocket's about to br bounce out at any moment just stressed and it's like even finding the perfect person you would find a way to tear into them or be dissatisfied or to cry and say they didn't do something right like it just it, it would be too much okay so that is what they're wanting because it's like you can't have this connection this connection could become like the, her preying on him because if she's not balanced right all of her kudalini energy is gonna all of a sudden have that malfunction and this snake gonna swallow him up okay and spit out the bones or just crunch the bones snakes eat the bones don't they no they do cough them up i don't know um <laughs> awesome metaphor y'all um hashtag pisces um so that's what they're saying they're like you gotta you gotta get a hold on it okay because this energy should be harmonious together figuring out your sacral energy figuring out this wholeness okay not splitched and broken and confused and wanting to just lash out at others at random moments and stuff like that okay so let's look at the uh, message from the ancestors from the person for those of you who are interested in someone else if not you don't have to apply this part Okay, we got a, a lot of energy here. Um, let's see, can you see that one? I think you can see it up there. We have a, a desert rose gypsum over here. We have the other part of the honey calcite, magenta agate, opalite, um, lava stone, and aragonite, okay? So I do feel like this person does feel frustration. Um, they might feel it very residually they might feel it very low-key but they I feel like from their guidance of their ancestors they feel that that alert okay to not trust fully not to trust you fully in this connection because they know that you could lash out or that you could um, take things out on them that you could it's like even if they've done something it's not about that the the whatever has happened between you guys could have happened because of these other themes that wanted to play out someone has to be the bad guy someone has to be the rejected somebody you know what i mean it's like other stuff underneath that caused all those reactions in the first place and so this person um i think they have to like you know like take a breath and count to 10 sometimes i think that they feel very frustrated sometimes in trying to connect with you in an authentic way without things exploding without things being triggered they could have their own temper issues as well um now in some ways your friendship energy is good and i do feel like you guys can um there's kind of this feeling like oh maybe we could 
we could complete each other emotionally or spiritually but it does look like they're able to give more readily when it comes to romantic situations which is interesting because you're more emotional so you'll think that you give more right you might think that you're more feeling or nicer in some ways right but they actually have the emotional capacity to offer more to the other partner and to be open in an actual relationship they're kind of ready to do that and i know it sounds so strange but i remember that even though i'm like so sensitive so emotional and i work so much more um romantically and emotionally in relationships it felt like with like the first person i was with who was a sagittarius they were more ready to um dive into a relationship though at the same time than i was so in some ways they were more emotionally open even though in other ways they they weren't very um emotionally mature okay and so it, it's weird it's it's a weird trying to balance who is more this or that and so with them i feel like they are more present and and more um willing to dive into relationships and get to the sweet part of relationships and and connect to that um in an authentic way but for some reason that's the puppy y'all sleeping making noises but for some reason the way you guys are set up now it just there's more um sexual passion but there's also frustration and anger and competition and this kind of stuff and so they might offer that connection to somebody else or um channel it through friend energy or something of that nature because it's just so distant it's hard to put those two together so you guys could be stuck in a friends with benefits or one of those where you're always friends and you know that you have chemistry but it doesn't go anywhere maybe you guys chose other people at some point and so like you guys can't get past that and there is actual resentment and then there's far off goals of business and finance and career and um that could be some pressure as well like maybe they are just like well my career is going to take me way off here or what i would want to accomplish in this world and that's so far off i don't even know if i have time to run back and fix things with you and appease you and make sure not to disappoint you and you know just fix all of this stuff um so if you guys haven't gotten together yet i feel like they're they're ancestors might really advise them to just keep it on a friend level and to just try to um kind of stay away more just touch and go just like you know say hey sometimes offer you offer you what you know compliments and sweetness they can but to keep it pushing so that they don't mess up their long-term goals um that's more the advice here because they feel like if you guys start beefing too much then they're gonna have to step in and they're gonna be pissed off and they're gonna be a little bit more on guard to you and it's kind of like okay why do that if we can all just be friends and be sweet it's like some friends you're meant to just kind of have a little crush on and be sweet on and be tender with but it doesn't necessarily mean you guys gotta get married right and that's kind of how their ancestors uh see this connection they're not um pushing a relationship and they're kind of worried about y'all exploding um they're a little bit concerned about your different wounds and triggers which your ancestors are actively working with you on or trying to okay so let's read your card it says power you instinctively know what is right for you and have the power to say no or to walk away at any time and so that's what your ancestors want you to remember and to embrace is that you are your seat of power right there is that responsibility to your this all of this intense energy that you have to work through your emotions are your power your sexual energy all of that how can you be empowered with that and accept that energy accept that responsibility and use it to find a connection where you don't feel like there has to be power struggles in games okay you might be drawn to people who hit your pluto a lot or who hit your mars a lot or you could have a pluto or mars ruled chart or venus or mars so aries scorpio energy a lot or contacts with those planets even some strong saturn and so that can be something that you have to learn to balance internally so that you can use the positive um you know fun sexual empowered versions of those energies you might even have a very strong lilith or eros in your chart okay so it's learning how to um to rule your energies and not let those rule you okay 
and be empowered by them okay not disempowered or fear being disempowered so that you um, do power struggles with people who would be your potential partners okay so that's what I'm seeing for you please uh, like share subscribe and comment we think your ancestors are and oh my gosh y'all <gasps> blah, 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 that ancestors <laughs> and your um, potential partners ancestors as well and <laughs> if you would like to get a reading with me the information will be in the description box but definitely connect with your ancestors um, regardless because that is a beautiful strong empowering connection for you to have okay I'll talk to you again on another one all right for those of you that chose number six we're at the last one let's see what your ancestors have to say about your romantic life and relationship and then we will go for those of you who have a crush or interest um, or partner we'll see what their ancestors say about you and your connection as well okay so for the collective ancestors of those who chose number six please come through with your messages guidance and advice thank you so much messages ancestors. okay let's see interesting they've never come out one on top of the other like that you guys got the hematite magnetic uh almost like quartz um, magnetic hematite and that's how they usually come out but for you they came out on one on top okay we have sunstone blue uh blue gene quartz kyanite aquamarine desert uh gypsum rose or desert rose gypsum selenite rose it has any mixture of those names and fluorite okay we have Aquarius, Gemini, Capricorn, Cancer, Sagittarius, Leo, and Pisces. All right. They're really safeguarding your partnership if you have, have one already, okay? They're definitely safeguarding this. Um, some of you, there's a big difference in your financial status or your your notoriety like one of you might even have a bit of fame to you and the other one might be a little bit more down to home or just behind the scenes a bit more maybe business like and the other one is more out there and like an influencer or might even be in some kind of celebrity social circles um, I read for all different degrees of people so it is definitely possible um, but at the at the essence at the core you guys are very similar you're equals okay you're pound for pound you you match each other energetically um, on all levels so it kind of doesn't matter who started out um, in what position you guys blend well together it reminds me of relationships where um, somebody is you know they're like power couples like one's a uh, the manager and one person's the talent but like together they're so much more powerful just like yeah power couples they always have some kind of dynamic even if they both have fame and they both have money like there's different ways that they blend together that they just get larger than life in a way together that they wouldn't apart even though they're both very valid solid people right and you guys have that vibration together or that's the vibration you're manifesting and calling in and that is what your ancestors are working on with you they they're like yes that's the stuff right there stick with that energy okay I see them moving you away from people who you are attracted to who were in your soul group but they're not like the main one like there were some crushes they were your muse for a while they were your inspiration you wrote some poetry you you got through different parts of your life because you had them to crush on but they weren't the one okay this person's gonna be real like they're gonna be real in your life they're not gonna be a fantasy out there you're gonna be communicating with them communication is huge they will be responding in communication as well well you're going to be able to be dressed up as red carpet with them and all the way to wearing your jeans or your house clothes okay the whole spectrum of life it's just going to be natural it's going to flow um it, it might be so weird but it's like peanut butter and jelly right think about that if you first saw just jelly and peanut butter and never saw them together like that's kind of weird they're like yeah we're gonna put this you know <laughs> this gelatin like substance that's made from grapes with this stuff that's made from peanuts and 
what what are you doing boo boo but you know or chicken and waffles or something like it just it ends up going and that's how y'all are going to be once you're together it's like a household name it just it makes sense right y'all might even have one of those mashup couples couples names okay um <laughs> pelly is that peanut butter and jelly anyways <laughs> All right, I do see you working together. Um, I do, so some of you, most of you, you're gonna meet through your career, okay? Some of you, this is, you've already met this person. I feel like a lot of you, you haven't yet, but you're bringing in the manifestation energy and you know, and your ancestors are letting you know ahead of time. All right, it um, cut me off here, but yes, a lot of you will meet this person through career, through career connections. Um, through following what your passion is for your career so I would say keep advancing yourself for what it is that you love to do your accomplishments I'm also seeing social justice okay um, basically don't be afraid to move forward in your life sometimes people just kind of hunker down and wait for their soulmate and don't really want to move forward and like oh i don't want to make a decision unless i know that's where my soulmate's gonna be and this is like no you being your best empowered self and being a full-fledged badass person and going after your gifts and talents in the world especially in the external world is how you will run into this person because they're going to be doing the same thing okay um i'm seeing this person as having a good uh family base being somebody who is very just very in interconnected and loving the people that they're around someone who's a big hugger and you know loves to touch uh, t uh keep contact and check in with people and just things of that nature someone very communicative and social very beloved um really tries to maintain their balance and always wants to go back to their home base their family base so maybe they live in a big city now but they're from a small town and they always go back and reconnect um, they might also have a connection with water even if they have to travel to be there because I do see them being from kind of like a hotter area or even like let's say they're from California but they might be from further inland or the desert areas and then the, they would have to commute out to the, the ocean or maybe they're from like the Midwest and then they end up working out and you know on the coast New York or California or something um, this could also be of course anywhere around the world um, yeah, I just see like there definitely is a very specific person and a very specific plan that your ancestors have for you and they want you to just continue to grow and blow up and do what you need to do because I do feel like for your group you can meet what I would call your greater soulmate, okay? I don't use the term twin flames because a lot of that journey is very toxic and what is kind of promoted by people and it just when you tune in on a psychic plane it's it's uh, it's creating karma and a lot of stuff so what i've always seen um you know the soulmates that are kind of higher ranking than just like our soul group soulmates right because we have many different kinds um romantically or otherwise this would be a big one okay this would be one of them that you know lifetimes you guys have been together and you just got that pull with each other okay you got that that rank with each other um like i said you can't help but shine into the rest of the world when you connect with this person it's that power couple feel all right so let's see what your current that's who they're they're putting you towards if you're not with that person and you're crushing on someone else you will know who this person is and when you connect with this person that your ancestors are bringing in you're not going to be asking about anyone else okay so if who you're crushing on is not this person it would be interesting to see <laughs> what comes up here but this is who your ancestors are bringing you towards okay there could be a polarity with this person too so um sorry the current person that your ancestors are talking about before we move on there's they're letting me know for some of you there's a polarity they're telling me like sagittarius and gemini aries libra so you could have some polar opposite signs um or some squares in your chart so maybe your moon is square their sun there could be some squares or or oppositions in your astrology but it will work to balance each other out it won't be a toxic kind of way okay all right so let's see now if you guys have a current person you're thinking about that you know of a love interest or crush let's see what they their ancestors have to say okay 
and we have this one fallout over here by my side so we have different blood runes bloodstone runes we have um a moonstone we have a lava stone that fell on the aquamarine we have a aventrine tiger's eye lighter aventrine slice of honey calcite agate and tangerine quartz this right here lets me know that their ancestors whoever you're crushing on that wouldn't be the person that we were first talking about that your ancestors are manifesting in but a different person who's a, a crush in this situation their ancestors are saying this is a karmic connection boom right there there's someone from your soul soul group who's karmic um who you have some stuff to work through okay who you have some oaths and some sacrifices some that they've made for you some that you made for them and you guys are still trying to balance out the score and even things up and figure it out okay there's a little slice of chemistry and love but they're saying that it's not something that would um, last long term it's not something that would be yeah it's not something that would be everlasting it just wouldn't some of you are trying to connect with a leo or a sagittarius or an aries um, some of you it is a pisces cancer scorpio and or a capricorn taurus we have a lot of signs here <laughs> um and they're just saying no it wouldn't um now you guys might always be in each other's life there's a groundedness there there's a connectivity that's there um they're not necessarily having to leave your life and be projected out of it but you guys are meant to go on and do different things there there's this energy of inspiration maybe you guys would create something together some of you might end up having a child okay here's where they're saying there's different paths some of you your karmic connections different some of you might clear that by um, having a child together when you didn't have one in a past life or encouraging you your part the this potential partner that you want or who you're currently with this karmic partner encouraging them in the arts or something where before you shushed them in a past life it wouldn't let them express themselves or vice versa okay so that will vary what your karma is and the gift that you need to give each other and what you need to allow each other to be the blessing you need to be to each other this lifetime but for many of you, um, for most of you, the person that you're asking about is not the one your ancestors are trying to bring in. For those of you who you have finally hit the sweet spot, you know these things are healed and you know that you are living this powerful connection that we described in this wonderful relationship um, that your ancestors have already brought together, you guys have a long haul together. I see you literally lengthening out each other's lives and having just longevity is the key word, happiness, just joy, being together every step. So you will know, you will know whether if you're like, well, maybe it is, maybe it's not, no you will know if you have met this person that your ancestors want because you're probably trying to figure out how you got on this pick a card because you're not even sitting on pick a cards because you're you're just living this good life like <laughs> or maybe they're away on travel and so you're like well let me just go and see ancestor message on love that's always good to hear okay but no you will know your life it literally will you guys will go into this protect uh protection of love and um good good fortune with each other okay the way your ancestors come together will be like a force field of blessings for you now for those of you who are in this karmic connection i do see that your ancestors do want to um solve all this so that you guys get on a happier track and so that you do have love and camaraderie and really good energy with your spirits okay it's not that you couldn't um have a relationship with this person i just feel like it's your guys' soul history to not go the distance with each other and because you usually have these the greater soulmate comes in and sweeps you off your feet and then this other soulmate the one you're crushing on right now they end up you know it's just like they pale in comparison literally okay literally look at these two aventrines literally this one is shorter and pales in comparison okay and that's the feeling and i think that that could be why this person has hesitancy and why their ancestors don't push it because they know it's going to happen they're like okay yeah if you got through all these issues current and past lives and you worked on all of this you guys have a good sweet juju together that seems all fun and happy go lucky and you know it's like when sagittarius believes something wonderful is going to happen and they believe in it but eventually they run out of that energy reality hits right with that agate there reality hits saturn hits and 
you guys go your separate ways and usually I think it's you grow out of their league and you connect with your bigger soulmate your larger soulmate and you go on to this epic life and you know a lot of times you probably had some renown and fame because you're connecting with this big soulmate so you guys do big things in the world and this person's kind of left behind right so I think establishing a different type of relationship is actually what's important between you guys so that you can have love without this third party, someone rejected connection. I think that's actually the point is to heal that dynamic from you guys and find out what else you can create, other ways you can stay in contact, ways you could travel together. Like how else can you use this beautiful energy that you have? Like I said, some of you have already created children some of you have already created business ideas or have had you know a fun sexual experience learning and growing in that way with each other um and i don't see that as being negative here but it's just not the fullness of what your ancestors or theirs really want for you okay because i feel like this other person like they're they're gonna they're coming in they're coming in basically there's something else manifested and something else in the works from your spirit crew and i think it's gonna kind of knock the current situation that you're thinking out out like bowling pins okay so they're like focus on the other like focus on clearing the the contracts and balancing things out with them and establishing really really good um like friendship and other relationship dynamics doesn't mean you can't have fun for now while you go but um like work on having that authentic relationship with them in a variety of ways so that you guys if you still want this person to be in your life so that you can have longevity with them and then i feel like you guys will always be a blessing to each other and you could just be where it's like yeah we had a crush all through you know all through school and everything and we dated in college and you know but now they're off living their best life with their soulmate and i'm off here with with mine and you know we still create and call each other when we have joint projects and you know it's just like a happy life and and your spirits just have kinship between them without the beef okay so it's kind of like find that find that find that way to grow and continue to love them have space within your relationships in the good way um as you're going to move on um if you follow your ancestors guidance to this other connection so their card says uh for you says life is a series of constantly shifting cycles when we resist change we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress go with the flow you will be surprised where it leads wow i didn't even realize it was that one but there you go all right so this has been a long video but i'm so glad to get these messages out for you i hope you really really you know receive these and love these messages these ancestor love messages please like share subscribe and comment get in contact with me if you want a personal read a personal ancestor read and most importantly make sure you maintain your relationship with your ancestors as it is just irreplaceable and so important and thank you so much i'll talk to you guys on another one bye